Hello again, everybody. This is Wayback Sports Cards, and we are here um, with a slightly different box break today. We are going all the way back to 1982, the year I was born, to open up a box of 1982 Topps Baseball album stickers. Um, I purchased this on eBay for about 40 bucks. Um, these are very unique. Uh, they are, and I will pull out a couple of stickers real fast. They are smaller than the regular size card. Um, they're actually one inch, one and 15 sixteenths of an inch wide and two and nine and sixteenths inches high. These were meant to be put into an accompanying album, very similar to those who may be familiar with the World Cup Panini stickers. And actually, this was um, the first year, um, these are actually produced under the Panini license from Topps, and this was the first year of a six-year partnership between Topps and Panini. So you'll see these throughout the 80s, these top sticker sets that have a smaller size sticker. So this is the first year of that. And, um, you know, so these are, uh, they come in a box of 100 pouches per box, 20 cents per pack. That's how much these went for back in the day, came with five stickers. I purchased this box on eBay for about $40. And um, all the stickers are here, but I did notice as I opened the, uh, the packs that the packs had already been opened, but from what I could tell, all the stickers are here. So with that, I am gonna go through this. This is a 260 card sticker set. There's league leaders in, in here, and we'll get to that. You'll see them as we go through some all-star stickers. Um, we'll see some, uh, yeah, so highlights and stuff like that. So we're going to see that as we go along. Uh, world champion stickers for the Dodgers in 81. So we're going to go through this, and um, right off the bat, Nolan Ryan. The name is not on the front of the sticker. The name is on the back. I will turn them over. There's a number, place to peel, Nolan Ryan, the name and the position, the number of the sticker. And at the time, if you wanted to complete your collection, there was a way to contact Tops to help complete that application. But um, I will probably be turning some of these over to figure out who some of these players are. I don't, I, my memory does not, since I was born in 82, I don't know everybody. So maybe better if I do this. Bob Nepper, Ken Landro, Keith Hernandez, and Bill Madlock. So... Um, Keith Hernandez there with the Cardinals, uh, Bill Madlock, with the Pirates. So um, try to organize this and uh, try to go through these pretty quick because these are um, these are opened already, which is nice. Uh, Bill Madlock again. So this is the second different Bill Madlock that we have in the set. There's an all-star card of Jerry Remy. Remy. Um, and these would probably be good for through the mail autographs, although somebody signing kind of large might be difficult. There's a Hall of Famer, Goose Gossage with the Yankees. Um, and then it looks like we have Dwight Evans here. Yep, Dwight Evans, Red Sox, great. And so, uh, gonna go through this great shot there of uh, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer. I don't, Scott Sanderson, pitched into the 90s. Bill, um, Bill Murray, Eddie Murray, <laughs> Hall of Famer Eddie Murray there with the Orioles. Great. Look at that sweat uh, sleeve there, the mustache, the sideburns. That is a fantastic shot. Um, an action shot, it looks like, of kid Gary Carter. Nope. Looks like Gary Carter, but it's uh, 1981 NL Championships. So put that off to the side. And then uh, this is fantastic. I don't even know who this is, but the... Uh, this is a time capsule in itself. It's Steve Trout, actually. So, uh, kind of cool. And actually, what I'm going to do is uh, grab a couple of packs worth of stickers along the way, just so we can uh, we can get through these a little faster, and that way I don't have to open up too many of these. Um, looks like league leaders: Dennis Martinez, I see there, Pete Vukovic, Jack Morris. That's kind of cool. Um, one half of the 1981 World Series champion Dodgers, 1981 World Champs. That's one half of the team photo. I'll put that over here. Hope we find the other one. Steve Comer, 
National League All Stars looks like George Foster. Yep, George Foster. Mike Jack, Michael Jack Schmidt, right there. Lee Mazzilli. Hall of Famer Dave Winfield from his time with the Yankees. Back to back Hall of Famers. We got Ricky Henderson. Was, uh, his rookie card, I believe, is the 81 Tops. Uh, Rick Cerrone. We got Rick Cerrone there. Um, what do we got? John Wathan. This looks like Bruce Suter. Yeah, Bruce Suter with the Cardinals, the powder blue Cardinals uni. Great shot here of Hall of Famer Rock Reigns, Tim Reigns. Got a Philly here, Gary Maddox. We got a photo of the 1981 AL Championship between the Yankees and the A's, which the Yankees did win. Uh, went to the World Series and lost to the Dodgers in 81. And another, looks like another Rock Reigns. Yep, another Tim Reigns in the same pack. So the sticker set appears to be one where um, we're going to see a couple of stickers of, of the star players of the day. So as I uh, try to grab a few packs worth of stickers here, We'll see how long this goes. We're six minutes in. I don't want to take up too much time on this video, but I do want to give you guys a good flavor of what to expect in here. This is pretty cool, though, to get to get 100 packs of 1982 stickers. Um, I think this is a pretty cool buy for 40 bucks. Um, some of these could be graded, potentially. I mean, this, the corners are sharp. They do look like they're pretty well on centered. Um, and the color is held up pretty well. It's Don Baylor right there. Um, John Castino. This looks like Greg Lozinski, the bull. Mike, Mor Mike Norris, another Dwight Evans. Um, a Blue Jay, John Mayberry. We've got Jerry Mumphrey. Len Barker. Ted Simmons. The old school Chicago White Sox uniform there with Billy Alman. A lot of these guys I don't know. Uh, this is a little before my time. Warren Cromarty with the Expos. Got a National League All-Star of Manny Trio. We got a Cardinal there with the, the hair coming out the side. George Hendrick, another Bruce Suter right there. Um, Bob Forsh. And I, I am really drawing a blank on the Julio Cruz. Freddie Lynn. There's Freddie Lynn from his time with the Angels. So he had just moved on from the Red Sox at that point. Alan Trammell. Young Alan Trammell there. Um, we got an Indian, uh, Mike Hargrove. Later became manager of the Indians and of others. Mike Hargrove. This looks like, a, is that Cecil Cooper? Yes, it is. Cecil Cooper. George Brett with the sweat jacket there. This looks like Kirk Gibson. Yep. And uh, National League All-Star of Dave Concepcion. So, pretty cool. And you know, the fact that this is, um, you know, 260 cards and some of these guys appearing twice, uh, the great thing about these stickers is most of these guys appear to be, you know, star players. So you're not gonna, or star players of the day. So you, you're probably not, it's not like the base top set where you're going to get 792 cards and, and um, only get about a handful of stars in it. Uh, Bob Nepper again. Here we go. Pete Rose wearing that rubber sweatsuit there with the nacho helmet. Followed by the Pete Rose all-star card from his time with the Phillies. Hara, I don't know. Um, Ivan De Jesus, got a Cardinal here, Dal Porter, try to find some guys I know here. This is Bill Madlock again, looks like another Bill Madlock, so we've had a bunch of him already. Lenny Randall, another Goose, another Goose Gossage, Lee Mazzilli, another Robin Yount. Julio Cruz with the old school Seattle uniform. And this is great about 1982. He's got a lot of these old uniforms, which is really cool. Um, we got a Met here, uh, Joel Youngblood. Got a Pirate with the stovepipe hat and the warm-up jacket. Rick Roden, great pitcher of the day. There's another Mike Schmidt. 
Back to back Mike Schmitz, there's the pinstripe uniform there. Another Ricky, another Rick Cerrone, and John Wathan and Claudel Washington is the last two there. Uh, we'll pull a few more of these out. I think already we've probably found most of the star players of the day in the set here, but let's open a few more. Here is, uh, looks like Pedro Guerrero in the 81 World Series, game six. The Mizuno warm up there, Phillies, is Bob Boone, father of uh, Aaron Boone, Yankee current Yankee manager, Brett Boone. Um, this is from World Series game four against the Yankees. Can't tell who that is in the picture. We've got Gary Lucas. Got another Dwight Evans, all-star. Tony Armas, home run leader for uh, the Red Sox, I believe, in 83 or 84. Tony Armas, power hitter. Luis Salazar. Another Steve Trout. Uh, this looks like a young Jack Clark. Yeah. Ken Oberkfell right there. This looks like Jerry Roos. Oh, Billy Martin with the A's, managing the A's. Nice picture there. Um, we got a Met. Ellis Valentine with the Mets. Young Jack Morris with the Tigers. Um, got an A. Cliff Johnson. Another Pirate. Omar Moreno. Cub. Tim Blackwell of the Cubs. Giant uh, Larry Herndon. Ooh, early career Ozzy Smith. Hall of Fame shortstop. Wizard. Philly, Larry Boa, many remember later as manager, manager of the Phillies and of others, coach for the Yankees as well. Uh, kind of out of focus, uh, Blue Jay, Lloyd Mosby. We've got an all-star of Kenny Singleton. Uh, Orioles fans know and love Kenny Singleton. He is, uh, but those who know him from recent years probably know him from being a broadcaster for the Yankees on the Yes Network, but that's cool. Kenny Singleton. Rick Burleson there with the Angels. We got Fernando Valenzuela. Looks like uh, Daryl Evans. Yep. Daryl Evans. Another Robin Yount. Uh, Scott Sanderson again. Another Eddie Murray. Looks like another Gary Carter from the playoffs. And uh, Pete Vukovic. A uh, Cy Young Award winning pitcher with the Brewers in this era. And those who don't know him as Pete Vukovic, the pitcher, may know him as Clue Haywood from the 1989 movie Major League. It's Pete Vukovic. Um, there he is. Plays the first baseman in the movie, but was uh, a pitcher in real life and a Cy Young Award winner to boot. So. Um, I think a lot of people who watch that movie today in my generation, a lot of them don't even know that that's a Cy Young Award winning picture. I'm going to grab a few more here. We're already 13 minutes in. I don't want to go too much longer. I think we've got a pretty good uh, flavor for what to expect in this set. We've got Cesar Cedeno, Dave Concepcion. I'm going to hold on to that. Another Lloyd Mosby Padre, that is Gene Richards. Rick Burleson, another Fernando Valenzuela. Daryl Evans, so we're already getting a lot of duplicates here, so I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm about a little less than halfway through this box. Um, another Ricky Henderson. I'm going to stop after this batch, but um, I think you got a good idea of what to expect in here. Claude L. Washington again. Another Rock Reigns, Gary Maddox, another uh, card from the ALCS, and the last two here, Rock Reigns again with the warm-up jacket, 
and uh, Steve Carlton, NL All-Star card. And I love these little glossy All-Star cards. They're kind of neat. So with that, I am going to stop here. I think we've done a pretty good job of showing uh, what these cards are. Um, but yeah, I got this box for about 40 bucks after shipping on eBay. Um, overall, from what I could see from the first half, this is a pretty cool buy. I don't know that any of these stickers go for a ton of money on eBay, but I'm willing to bet if I sold all these stickers individually, I probably could at least get my money back, especially on some of the star players. Um, some of these look like pretty good candidates for potential grading. I know right now grading is uh, backed up, but um, possible chance there. And these look like they're pretty good for through the mail autographs as well. So if you're looking to reach out to some of the older players, which I might try to look up myself, I may look to send some of these out for autographs. So with that, overall, I think it's um, probably worth about 40 bucks. I wouldn't go too much more than that. I am a, a little cheaper when it comes to the junk wax stuff. But um, I think if you can get this 1982 top sticker box for about 40 bucks, I think you're, you're doing okay for yourself. I wouldn't spend a whole lot more than that. So with that, I am going to end here. This is the, uh, the end of our 1982 Topps Baseball album stickers right there. There's the front of the pack yet again. Um, yeah, overall, pretty cool break. I've had fun opening these sticker boxes over the last few months. I think this is a great way to get your hands on some of these um, older sets and not have to pay for the base set. You know, you, you, to get an 82 tops box is going to run you a couple hundred bucks when you can get this for 40 or 50. So if you're looking to do early 80s boxes on the cheap, I think, you know, you could do a lot worse than this. So overall, really cool. I give it the thumbs up. And with that, uh, we'll be back in the coming weeks with some more box breaks. I've got 88 Donruss, 90 Don or 91 Donruss, 91 score. And I've also got some uh, early 90s uh, English soccer cards that I'm going to open up pretty soon as well. So stay tuned on the channel. Give me your uh, comments, thoughts. Love to hear from you. But with that, it's Wayback Sports Cards signing off. And uh, we will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.